When the Strabbles family moved in, this is, yep, okay. Um, based on the tales from the past episode of the same name by me. Upper Hampton, 1991. A plane had just landed at Upper Hampton Airport where a family of four had just disembarked their flight and collected their luggage. This family were the Strabbles family, a family of four from Brisbane, Australia, who had come to start a new life in the town. The father, Joe, was a businessman in his mid-forties, with a salt and pepper look in his hair, brown with streaks of grey. His wife, Grace, was a beautiful young housewife in her late thirties, with Brown hair, worn in a ponytail. The eldest of their daughters was Sarah, a, che a cheeky little missy of four, with blonde hair like her mother's, but wore a bright pink dress with matching shoes. And their youngest daughter, Millicent, or Millie for short, was a cute little baby of one, with brown hair and wore a violet onesie and was asleep in her buggy. As they left the airport terminal, they were shown to the railway station to catch their connection train to Midhampton Railway Station. During the journey, they gave Sarah her lunch whilst Grace fed Millie and then went to change her. It was a nice journey with no issues whatsoever. Midhampton. Their train arrived at Midhampton within 15 minutes and they collected the things, that should be their things, and disembarked at Platform 1, where their taxi driver was waiting to help them. He helped them pack their suitcases in the boot and get into his car. As they drove, they led the moving van to their new house. On Midge's Close. When they got there, they were greeted by a neighbouring family, the Barrett family, which consisted of a young single mother and her four children. The mother was Sarah Barrett, a young woman in her early thirties, with strawberry blonde hair and green eyes, and wore a pink jacket with mauve top and lilac trousers. Her four children were her eldest, a daughter named Emma, a 13-year-old wild child who had dark hair, and the three sons were named Jay, a seven-year-old game nut with brown hair and brown eyes, James, a three-year-old boy with brown hair and brown eyes, and Sean, a two-year-old boy with orange hair and grey-blue eyes. While not all of them had come to help the Strabbles get settled in, she had brought three-year-old James with her. Grace and Joe thought he was so sweet and knew he and their kids would become great friends. Sarah Strabbles came to introduce herself and little Millie. After that, she was sent upstairs to choose her new bedroom and James went to help her. While they were doing that, Sarah Barrett helped Grace and Joe move in and they soon got to know each other. Upstairs, Sarah Strabbles had chosen her new bedroom thanks to James for his help. Thanks for your help, James. She said, that's all right, Sarah, but where's Millie going to sleep? Replied James. In here, of course. We're going to be sharing. Replied Sarah Strabbles before hugging James. They were soon back downstairs having a snack whilst the adults had coffee and biscuits. 
After a couple more hours, Sarah Barrett thanked Grace and Joe for the day, and they did likewise for her help. She looked down at James, who was sad. Don't be sad, sweetheart. We'll be seeing him again, she assured him as they said goodbye and went home. Grace was trying to hold back her laughter. What a funny little boy James is, she said. He's a champ, agreed Joe. <laughs> so... <laughs> Now, this, epi this story was written to extend the ending of the video. So, if you want the expansion, you have to hear the story. But that's it for this instalment of some magical story time. The next one will come as soon as I have a story ready. Well, yeah, obviously. But the next one of these specific stories, I'm unsure when that's going to be done. So whatever the next story is, I hope you'll be ready to receive it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a magical time.